um, there's a different lighting situation because I waited a little late in the day to do this video, and I'm laying differently because I feel like actually being relaxed while I'm doing a video, so sitting and sounding angry and all worked up, but, um, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to use some of the features on Facebook that people are apparently not aware exist. Like, how to remove someone that you don't like, how to block them also, that's going to be mentioned, um, how to turn people's things off, like, like, um, or ignore something that you don't want to see on your feed. Also, it's going to be about how to post something passive-aggressively without the person that you don't want to see it, seeing it. Because we all know we do that, and we all know that... Well, let's just get into it, shall we, folks? This is going to be a slideshow-type tutorial video, but it's not all going to be that. Um, I hope not, anyways. Just going to be this beginning portion. There's going to be the tutorials. There's going to be a few different tutorials. So, bear with me, and just I hope I, hope I do this right. I hope it's clear. I hope it's able to be understood, and I hope that it helps you. Because some of you might not actually know these features exist, even if you haven't had a problem with being friends with somebody whose stuff you don't want to see, or being friends with somebody you don't want to be friends with, um, or, you know, posting things about somebody that you don't like at the moment. Because we all know that we have little spats between friends, and that's what this first portion is going to be about. It's going to be about the passive-aggressive status, meaning it's directed at somebody, but it's not. It's like indirectly about them and they might see it and they might catch on but you don't want them to see it because if they see it oh no that could be the end of your friendship and you don't want that you just want you just want to vent but you could uh, you could vent to someone who's not friends with them who doesn't know them and you could vent to yourself in a wordpad document or you know on a document in your computer but you could also write it down in a notebook you could also tell a parent or guardian but you won't. You'll make an indirect status, and they might catch on. So here's how you do that without them even seeing it. Stay tuned, kid. Oh, when you go to post a status, in this case the status is fuck this bitch, the passive aggressive status, you're going to get a menu, um, when you click on the friends thing, it comes up and says public friends only me, and you're going to click on custom. When you click on custom, this box comes up and it says custom privacy and you're going to share it with your friends obviously but when you say don't share this with and then you put the person's name there and uh that keeps them from seeing it they can't see it no matter what no matter if somebody shares it with them or not um also that being said if you tag people in it your friend might be friends with someone that you don't want to see something so bear in mind that anyone who's friends of someone who's tagged in something can see it too so just bear that in mind and you know be careful who you tag and things and this is you know that's one of the reasons that i say don't share your baby pictures on facebook but that's not what this video is about now this next portion of the video is going to be dedicated to the fact that we all have stuff that someone posts that isn't worth unfriending them over but that we don't want to see and that sometimes we turn into assholes and we start commenting we start bickering and arguing with our friend on facebook status what kind of friendship is that long distance that's what it is. But anyways, this next section of the video is going to be dedicated to that exact thing and how you can stop it. So just bear with me, friends, bear with me. I keep looking at myself and I'm trying not to do that because it's a beginner mistake. Hold on. So, as I said, this portion of the video is about how to remove things from your newsfeed that you don't want to see. There are two ways of doing this. This is the first way. Uh, the what seems like the more rational one and the more easy one, you know. Because you don't want to lose a friend over something stupid. Like, this status is as fucking assholes these days, shit damn fools. And for someone who's really against cursing, that is going to bother you. I understand that. And, uh, but at the same time, you don't want to censor someone's, you know, free speech. So, you can, that little arrow, it's, it's highlighted. It's hard to see in this picture, but it's there. And it's highlighted, and when you click on that, it becomes a menu that says, I don't want to see this, or unfollow this person. And if you click on, I don't want to see this, it immediately just, you know, you're, you're not, you know, able to see it. If you unfollow them, I'm pretty sure that means you're still friends with them, but you don't see their posts unless you actively go to their page and look at their posts. So, basically, they 
It's basically kind of disconnecting yourself from their posts, but not them. I'm, I've never used the unfollow feature. Um, so I wouldn't know. But that's that's just how you do that. And it's a very it's a very easy thing to do. So before you get mad and overreact and comment on their status and start an argument, this is a very easy way to alleviate the situation and not cause yourself any stress or them. They don't get told that you did this, by the way. They don't get informed. I'm sure people have done this to my post quite a few times. So they're not made aware of it, so you're not hurting their feelings or anything, but, you know, that's just a way to do that. The next portion of the video is about how to unfriend someone. Yes, unfriend a word that nobody likes to use and no one likes to have used on them. The feature that every site has and few people realize is actually there. And I guess it kind of feels like maybe why would you add somebody if you, um... You know, it seems kind of pointless to unfriend them whenever you really are friends in real life, or maybe you might run into them in real life. Um, you know, a lot of people actually do that. Um, I also that Facebook that you're seeing there is my sec second secondary Facebook actually. It's Facebook that I created because one, I use it to kind of avoid certain people because it has way less friends on it than my real Facebook. I will link it in the description, you can add me if you want, um, you can add that one, I barely get on it, but, um, when I do, it's nice to see friend requests, it's nice to see messages, it's nice to see, you know, and I guess I could, I could use that Facebook to officially get messages for my YouTube videos and stuff, maybe, but the fact that I don't get in on it very much would, you know, kind of make it kind of irrelevant to use it for that, but I will put a link in it in the description to that Facebook, so you can just add that one if you want. Um, and, um, like I said, the next portion of this video is to tell you how to unfriend people. So, let's, let's get to it. Let's hop to it. So, you have your friend profile. You click on your friend profile, and you have your name and all that good stuff. But also, there's a little, there's a little, uh, buttons at the upper right hand corner of this page that say friends, suggest friends, following, messages, or message, and there's a little arrow again, a little thingy in the middle, a little arrow. So when you click on this arrow, it becomes a menu again that says play to options. Options. So if you give gifts, see friendship, post, add to an interest list, report, or block, or unfriend. Because sometimes you don't want to block somebody, you don't want to report them, get them in trouble. You just want to unfriend them. Because it seems like your friendship has run its course and you don't, you know, you just want to unfriend them. Because they're obnoxious. They're more than just the usual obnoxious. Or they've changed into someone that you no longer talk to or associate with or converse with. So if you click unfriend, you don't unfriend them again, you don't see their content anymore, you don't see their post on Facebook, and you know, we've already gone through the other options, so you know, this is your last resort, and depending on what they've done, you might want to block them too. Oh, yeah. um, so, oh, yeah. so, there you have it, there are the three ways, or the three options, the, the, the things on Facebook that you're supposed to do if you're having a problem with somebody, and um, yeah, and people forget these, this is not only just uh, for sarcastic humor and to make fun of people who obviously aren't aware of how to use the internet. But, also, for people who are being cyberbullied, it's a very serious problem. I would never make light of something like that because my name is Amnesia. But anyways, um, block people that are harassing you, unfriend people that are harassing you, even if you've been friends with them here, if they turn into someone that is rude to you and affects the way that you're feeling, then they're no good. So just block them and unfriend them. Um, if certain things that they say offend you on a deep personal level, you can either do the whole I don't want to see this thing because you know if you know them well, then you admit that they're joking, but post it for controversial reasons, even if you think that's wrong, but you know they're not really like that, it might be okay to just, you know, uh, hit the, I don't want to see this thing. But if they are doing it because they don't want to feel that way, then you might want to unfriend them, because they're coming from somebody that you don't, like I said, they're, they're just not the same person. But anyways, those are the three options for the three things that you're supposed to do on the internet if you're having a problem with somebody, and I'm just done. See you later, Space Cadets, and have a nice day, and I hope you had a great, lovely Easter.